Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be completing a no item clear of the Super Battle Road stage Extreme Int versus Super Tech. So we've got a Extreme Int team here, a pretty solid one if I might add. Uh, basically we are going to link up Broly with the LR Goku and Vegeta. Now Broly is a really cool unit because he gains additional defense reduction and crit hit chance when facing pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans units. So Broly is going to be doing some decent damage as well as being really tanky. Uh, and Broly looks super duper solid. He does really great damage overall. Uh, and he's a solid unit with multiple super attacks. He can really clear out the field. Uh, and Broly's really cool. I, I really like Broly. I think he's really awesome. Three super attacks, pretty dope. Um, so Broly, really cool. Then, of course, alongside him, eventually we'll have the LR Goku and Vegeta. Obviously, LR Goku and Vegeta are the planet Namek. Goku and Vegeta LR, so they're from the Worldwide Download Celebration. It was pretty cool. Uh, they are really, really solid units. They gain their attack and defense on Super, so it is kind of important to make sure that we have them in the second slot. But they also have a revival mechanic, so overall, they're a pretty useful unit to have in a no item run, obviously. Uh, then, in the other rotation, we're going to be running uh, a LR Cell. Uh, with the Super Strike 16. So these guys don't share a lot. It's not like they're perfect linking partners or anything, but the Cell and him both share Gentleman, which is fine for a key link. And overall, they make pretty decent pairing. Uh, Android 16 being really, really freaking tanky when he has his guard active. Uh, and obviously Cell being really, really exceptional. Not to mention it allows us uh, to get more benefit out of the double lead skill. Using two cells is basically double Android Cell Saga leads uh, and 120% int leads. So the cells being the double leaders and having a Super 16 on the team means we have a little bit more benefit from that leader skill, which is obviously super duper helpful. So yeah, uh, pretty straightforward so far. Uh, the first battle was really, really easy. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, multiple enemy battles always tend to take a little bit longer, uh, but we should be able to really start cleaning up from the next fight. Um, the floating units that we have, uh, we have a Golden Freezer. Uh, the Golden Freezer is a target Goku uh, support unit, which is pretty solid overall. It's really not that bad a combination. It, it's, it's good support for a lot of the team actually, because Burly, Cell, uh, and this version of Super 16, I believe, are all on target Goku category. So it's actually a pretty decent category to kind of have Frieza on. Uh, Cell, remember, is going to be relatively stronger facing multiple enemies. But we also have Cell's heal uh, if we get into a bad situation. So that's also something we can somewhat rely on as well. But generally speaking, we should do uh, just too much damage realistically to the enemy team. Like we'll just probably do far too much damage. You can see we eliminated Gohan pretty easily. Then finally we have uh, Captain Ginyu. So Captain Ginyu is obviously a super duper solid unit, especially after his easy aim. Uh, with a seal on his super attack effect with damage reduction against two or more enemies. Uh, and with obviously a pretty decent attack stat and raw stats following his easy aim. Overall, he was a pretty good choice. Uh, I think yeah, he was really, really solid. Brings a lot to the team. Plus, he doesn't really have that many linking issues. And he's a decent enough unit defensively to kind of just float around. So overall, I was quite happy with Captain Ginyu. Um, I think he brought a decent amount to the team. You can see uh, we're handling things perfectly fine, by the way. So yeah, overall, everything went really, really well. I think there's a decent amount of options for an extreme in team. You don't have to run this. Uh, you could run double Broly leads if you want to. You could run the third form Freezer, who's also really, really solid. Uh, there's a ton of pretty decent extreme int options. Uh, Bojack, the LR Bojack as well, also included. Uh, so there's plenty of options to kind of switch in and switch out. 
I myself just found that this team kind of ran as smoothly as I wanted it to run. Uh, and I didn't really feel like there were any hitches in using the team. Once the rotations were set up, it was pretty straightforward from there. So that was really, really good. I do make a little bit of an error here because I accidentally tapped the screen, uh, which is going to shift Broly into the mid rotation and shift uh, the Vegeta and Goku off rotation, which is really crap because they were a decent portion of my damage, uh, especially when linked up with Broly because they share four links. So that was uh, the only real shame, little kind of error there, but it didn't cost us to run or anything. So, you know, not like a major issue from that perspective, but just obviously we lose out on a lot of damage. You know, Vegeta is a decent amount of damage. The revive skill is also handy to have on rotation rather than having it sit off rotation. But yeah, overall, honestly, not really that big an issue. So yeah, team ran perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, with these SBR stages and everything, it really is uh, perfectly achievable to kind of finish these events with full clears. Uh, it was really cool to be able to use uh, the free-to-play Super Strike 16. Uh, I think these are the kind of situations where he really shines uh, that you know damage reduction really kicking in and he's just like an exceptional tank uh, an absolutely exceptional tank so uh, this is one of those cool situations where he really 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 got to shine um, which I think was something really awesome and cool and then yeah I think overall you know it was really uh, a solid team I think the damage was great Cell obviously carrying a large portion of the damage uh, which does tend to happen when you're running a double cell lead uh, we didn't get fortunate with the units that were provided. A lot of the stages were two units. Uh, this doesn't actually help Cell that much because Cell thrives on facing multiple units. But it was okay. Uh, it was a very decent run. Uh, and yeah, I was very, very happy with the whole thing. So for me, uh, a very smooth, very clean, very, very efficient run. And yeah, uh, I think you could make some minor alterations to this team for sure. But I actually quite like this team, and I think overall this team worked really, really well. Uh, I would possibly look at running double Broly leads at some point, uh, just for something like ESBR. The higher, the higher lead skill uh, would be really good, obviously. Uh, and also, I think having double Broly's is more pivotal uh, in harder hitting content, because Broly can be super duper tanky after he supers. Uh, so, yeah. But overall, uh, really not that big an issue. Uh, this next stage went perfectly fine. Uh, everything kind of ran just as we needed it to run. Uh, and we even managed to get the Dokkan attack. So yeah, everything's like everything was really, really running quite well. So yeah, overall, I was happy. Um, for me personally, you know, I think these no item SBR runs, obviously they are up a little bit late. It's not like these are going to be revolutionary to anyone, but they are quite fun to see how far the game has gone uh, in terms of difficulty and content. And also, I mean, they will still be a decent enough reference for people who haven't taken on the stage uh, and beaten it. Now you've got on my channel a initial victory, you've got a free-to-play victory, and you've got a no-item run victory. So I think there's plenty enough variation on how to beat the stage. Uh, on my channel, which is fine. I actually really enjoy giving the variation. Uh, I think it helps out a lot of people. When you have the ability to see multiple different teams of various different qualities and builds take on the stage, uh, it gives you a nice kind of matrix of opinions and feedback from which you can uh, kind of develop you know, what your team might be or what units you might want to use. But yeah, overall, uh, stage was fun had lots of fun and we set a decent time as well uh, which I think is always cool it's like racing against yourself I guess so yeah uh, very very happy well timed Dokkan attack as well uh, clearing the fourth fight which is great because we are fighting multiple enemies so yeah overall just super duper helpful and as you can see pretty much all the enemies are gone uh, and Broly is going to end things off here so yeah pretty cool uh, nice quick run and yeah everything went smoothly so that's another no item run down and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video 
but yeah, of course, always thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, if you did, you can leave a like down in the bottom. Uh, you can leave a like on the video or you can leave a comment and I will gladly appreciate it. They always help me out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.